He'll be employed as a wing. Frederick Gaudreau placed in the on the COVID protocol list this afternoon. And the Wild without a healthy forward on the roster. Coyotes 4-2-1 in their last seven after they started the season 1-13-1. Here's a chance moving in for Keller. His shot knocked away by Kakinen, and he senses a little trouble. He'll cover on the rebound. Play off the wall, picks this puck up. Nice attack. Kakinen does a good job. First big save of the game goes to him. And the loose puck comes out to center ice. Well, it, it, it looked like a great play. Kevin Fiala with the toe drag outside the blue line. Tried to get a little too cute inside the blue line. Now Arizona's going the other way. Kessel on goal, kicked out by Kakinen. At least three turnovers at the offensive blue line here early. Sturm back out to the line for Dumba. For the net, it was deflected. Wedgwood looking behind him, but he has the puck held. Tonight, the Wild D do a great job getting these pucks through. Quick little wrister, maybe going wide, but they've been great. But that's certainly a part of his game. Long shot deflected and then hit the post. And on the rebound, Kakinen down. Face-off play, clean loss and quick set play, deflection. That's the one that's probably more dangerous despite the shot goes off the post. You've, you've got a guy with an open stick chasing the rebound down in the slot. Kaganen down and out. Does a good job. Don't force things. You don't have to look a certain way. Bring it to the net. Fiala grabs the puck in the corner for Minnesota. Gave it to Merrill. Then back across. And a blocker saved by Wedgwood. Coyotes gain control. Shane Gostas Bear works his way out of his own end. Kessel into the Minnesota zone. Centered for Keller and he scores. Clayton Keller rips one over the shoulder of Kakinen. And a good start for the Coyotes. Keller right in the middle. He does the rest to finish this one off. It was a two on three turned into a one on one. John Merrill gives Keller a little bit too much space. The spin around shot looks similar to Ryan Hartman's goal. Last game, this one between the legs of Johnny Merrill. Greenway fanned on it along the boards, but Eric Sinek is there. Out front, a chance for Bodine, and they score! Eric Sinek on the rebound, and the Wild tie it 1-1. No surprise to see this big physical line change the momentum of the game. Jordan Greenway wins the battle on the wall. Created some space for Erickson Eck. He does a great job finding Kulikov there. And you have to love that play. Patient. Doesn't just throw it in the pads. Doesn't bring it to the backhand. On the forehand. Give Wedgwood credit. He doesn't quit on it. Gets the paddle. A piece of it. Erickson Eck follows it up. Deposits this one in the net. Tie game 1-1. Sturm at center. Over the Coyote line. Fires and a glove save by Wedgwood who hangs on. Merrill trying to fight through a check. Rask on the loose puck for Minnesota. Goligoski knocks it ahead. Could be a two-on-one for Minnesota. Fiala waiting. Centers. Kulikov denied by Wedgwood. Neutral zone. Soft little pass just out of the reach. Kulikov gets some good wood on it, but Wedgwood there for it. Brodine with a power play over. Kaprizov. Fiala takes a look. Fires off the post. And the rebound back out to center ice. With a good look for Minnesota, but catches iron. Works his way up the boards, tied up by Hartman. Krause there. His entry was knocked down. Tate and centers. Fisher waits, fires, and set it wide. One of the most electric scorers they have. Here's the chance first for Fisher. Showing great patience there. Not to just throw that one on Kakinen, takes it to that far side. Kakinen, athletic move, gets that pad out there, does his best. Kick save. Here's Kessel in the slot. Goes to Keller, a backhander, and a save by Kakinen. Now Keller, three on two. Tic tac toe to the middle. Shouldn't be that easy for middle drive to get the puck on his forehand and make a play. He follows it up with another. But are even tonight, second period, they've been even worse. I think if you're Dean Evison, too, that's probably what you end your speech with is look at this team is. Goligoski into the corner for Pitlick. Kaprizov, Hartman fires, save Wedgwood. And the rebound scooped up by Larson. Well, Kaprizov starting to take things over. 
Kaprizov finds him. Feather little saucer pass. Well, it's, it's amazing how he does that. Good pressure by Hartman. Sent it around behind the net. Hartman a redirect, and that was blocked. Kaprizov with it. Kaprizov fires, scores! Starts with Rem Pilik. He had a good stick behind the net to break up the breakout. Then Kaprizov, we've seen him exploit this. Extend the Coyotes in the offensive zone. Kaprizov, 2-10. and ten. Open the hips. Quick little wrist here. And then Ryan Hartman goes for the tip. I think that one ends up going off. Libushkin. Drew a smile when he said, well, when I called Jacques, I think he knew that oh, things must not be going too well if I'm getting a call from Miko. Backhand around goal, saved by Wedgwood. That rebound, but that shot's so heavy all the way to the corner. Paulino with it here. Goes cross ice, Rask just off the bench. Back to the line for Merrill. Merrill's shot, scores! I believe got a piece of this. It'll be his first of the year if he did. Yeah, doing some work out front, using the body, screen. John Merrill on pace to have a career year offensively. The Wild D doing just such a great job getting pucks through that first layer, giving the guys in front a chance at it. Jordan Greenway battling through, Capobianco's check. Still with it at the Coyote line, drops to Sturm, who fires it in. Fiala works out from behind the net and Wedgwood makes the save. Dumba leaves it for Greenway. Greenway works by Roussel, centered it! Erickson a shot and a save by Wedgwood. Jordan Greenway with the extra effort to spring him. Protects the puck, backhand play through the middle of the ice. Finds Eck on that back door. Again with this club, Anthony, you, know, you never know which line is going to rise to the occasion and be the star of the game. They've played an identity style game. They've gotten their chances as they've worked. Brodeen fires, scores! And how big is that play now, Anthony? Of that third line, bringing the puck to the net. Not just content to take a two-goal lead into the third period. Pressuring. Face-off win. Brodeen finding ice. Gets that shot through again. The defense court. Well, when you're the, in the spot of the wild... He and Keller always seem to be looking for each other. Yeah. Keller. They've got a Caprice off Zuccarello kind of chemistry going tonight. Chikrin works in. Puts on the brakes in the corner. Back to the line. They score. Strawman hammers one over the shoulder of Kakinen. And six minutes into the third, Arizona back in the game. It's 4-2. Clayton Keller's, he's been fast. Good with the puck. Agile. All of those things on that shift. Defensively, the puck makes its way up to Strawman. One-timer. Couple of fortunate bounces. I only start out. Capobianco connects with Fisher. Fisher moves in against Kulikov. And a sharp angle shot. Hit the side of the net. Got it through to Greenway, but it was in his skates. Greenway settles it down. Back to Felino. Out to the line, Brodine a shot, that hit a stick on the way, Bolino scores! Starts with a point shot, winning the battle out front, Jordan Greenway does a good job getting open to receive this one, Marcus Felino following it up, redirect after the back wall, but a solid shift all around from this third line. They have been too tall a task for the Coyotes to defend tonight. Back to Goligoski. Well, we've talked a lot about depth tonight. That depth includes kind of the next wave, that first line of substitutes. Greenway fires. Wraparound try. Bolino follows up.
out. Wedgwood kicks it out. Polino back of the net. And a solid win for the Wild. They make it three in a row on the homestand. Four in a row overall. Five to the final tonight.